Hey everyone, I don't think I've made one of these um, let me just talk at you for a few minutes style videos ever since my last uh, AMA style video when I reached a thousand subs and even that was more of like a, a fully a fully scripted kind of um, you know, response to your questions. So I wanted to talk a little bit about what's going to come next in the channel, because now that basic training for 150 CC is done, um, you know, I think it's, I think it's a fair question as to what I want to do next. And I kind of want to just let, um, let the people that have been kind of hanging around for a while and have been asking me for specific types of content, um, you know, know what's going on. So first things first, I am going to be getting my track ranking video done. Uh, it, it's going to take a long time because I'm writing the script. I have to do the recording, the editing and all that for 96 different tracks. It will take a while. I am working on it. I'm about 30% of the way done with the script for that one. So uh, it will be coming soon, I promise. So before we get into kind of what's coming next on the channel, I do have a little bit of an announcement, which is that uh, I mentioned a few weeks ago that I'm going to be doing live streams uh, every Wednesday from, you know, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific. And uh, I think I'm probably going to stop doing that going forward. It's a little experiment that I was running on the channel just to see like if I were to stream at a different time and to stream for longer hours, would that be more attractive to people? And to be honest, it just hasn't really got the kind of traction that I thought it was gonna get. And you know, no hard feelings or anything like that. I don't know if it's because it's just a bad time for people. It is like early morning to early afternoon when people are usually working or at school. So I know that's a part of it, but whether it be that or something just about my stream in particular that is not um, as enticing to people um I, it's just not getting the kind of of play that i was originally hoping that it would get and that i thought it might get uh and the thing is that um those streaming days, they they take a lot of time and it's time that I could be spent putting together content on the channel. And like I've said in some of my more recent videos, I do have a lot of content planned that I want to get to. And so, uh, you know, if the streams aren't doing as well as I would like them to be doing and I feel like I could be doing better with content, then that's kind of what I'm probably going to be doing. I will still be doing my, my weekly, like my weekend streams, you know, my Friday night, Saturday night streams. Um, but I'm going to go back to doing things the way they were before were a little bit of speed running and mostly races with viewers um, just because it's something I want to treat as more of like a hobby more of a fun thing an extra thing for people who really enjoy kind of hanging out uh, as, as opposed to making that kind of like a mainstay of the channel and being like a, a main draw of people coming here. Now, uh, we can talk about what's actually coming next, um, or in this case, more specifically, what's not coming next. So basic training 200 CC. Um, I've been asked by a lot of people whether I'm going to be getting to that content um, anytime soon. And the short answer is no. Um, slightly longer answer is probably not ever. Uh, the thing is, uh, just being honest, when I first started making basic training videos, I was learning a lot about uh, how to, I was learning a lot about the game, first of all. I was learning a lot about the game, learning a lot about how to just mechanically edit videos and create content uh, and how to tell engaging stories and how to like just learn learn the ropes with YouTube, so to speak. I'm not the greatest at this still, but um, the thing is that like with basic training, I've kind of learned all I can about making content from that series. Like there's nothing else for me to really get out of being a creator for that. And to be honest, like just the thought of making more basic training videos, like the actual the actual process of putting together a basic training video isn't really all that interesting to me anymore, just because like I said, I've been doing it for the last two years. And the other thing is that like those videos tend not to even do very well on the channel in comparison to some of the other stuff that, that I put out there. It might be kind of a surprise because I think like if you Google my name, for example, um, the thing that will pop up is basic training, right? Like I am known for basic training, but if you look at like how the average basic training video does in comparison to something like my hot takes video or my collaboration with Gyarados, uh, it gets like maybe half of the views, um, if that, if I'm lucky. And not only that, but 200cc gets about half the views of a 150cc video. So all kind of taken together, it's content that I'm not super interested in creating. Uh, it doesn't do very well on the channel. And there's other stuff out there that I do want to make that I think will be interesting for me and for you as well. So that's kind of the long winded way of saying that um, I understand that there are a lot of people who have been asking about basic training 200 CC, but as far as I've been able to tell based on the numbers, the interest really isn't all that high and the interest isn't really all that high for me to make them either. So um, I'll probably try and do something with 200 CC content, whether it be like in terms of like my speed runs, I can kind of do some commentated, like a commentated 48 track run, but I haven't really decided how I want to do that. But what I can say for sure is that I don't really plan on making fully fleshed out tutorials for 200 CC. Now, something else people have been asking about is competitive Mario Kart. So I remember I specifically asked, I put a poll up in my, 
on my channel about what kind of content you would all like to see. And uh, a lot of the responses were just like, make whatever kind of content you want to make, which is like, yeah, obviously a no brainer. But if I can get ideas from you all, then that would be cool too. And one person said that they think that doing competitive Mario Kart is kind of where all of the the sort of the the market is for that for for Mario Kart content, right? If you think about what um, what's on JP Gibbons' channel, or Short Cats videos, a lot of that is basically just gameplay videos, um, you know, commentated gameplay videos. And people have been asking me to do the same kind of thing. To be quite honest with you all, I really don't want to turn my channel into a clone of someone else's channel, even if it's like, oh look, it's a JP Gibbons' video, but it's just like basic doing the commentary instead. I really don't want to do that. That being said, though, you know, if you think back there are some videos on my channel where I do have commentated races and I would like to do something like that for competitive Mario Kart so maybe getting into lounge and actually trying to explain my thought process and explain what's going on um, if you were tuned into my live stream a couple weeks ago there was a race on DK jungle where I was kind of explaining the thought process behind why I used a lightning in a particular way and I think things like that are really interesting because I, I my main thing people People know me for basic training, but in reality, what I'm known for is teaching people how to get better at the game, right? I'm really, I'm really hardcore into the teaching, right? Even my my best build videos, it's all about thinking, you know, how to think about the game and how to think about what makes a good build. And I want to kind of bring that mindset into the competitive scene. So I don't know if or when I will get to those videos or like how much of that kind of content I'll make. But the thing that I do that I can say again is that if I do get into competitive Mario Kart, I'm going to approach it from a much more like educational perspective. Even if it's things like teaching you like why I think something went wrong, because like Lord knows I am not I am not that good at this game when it comes to like the people that are actually really into competitive Mario Kart. But I think that I do understand a lot. Like I understand a lot of the theory behind what I'm supposed to be doing, and I can explain that to you all in a in a you know in an educational video. So that's something that I'm planning on doing for competitive. Now, as far as the other type of content that I want to create on the channel, um, there's not really like a theme. Um, some of it's educational, some of it's just entertaining like i have like tier lists that i have planned um i have what else so tier lists video essays um other just really weird random ideas that it's like this could only come out of my brain sort of videos and i think all the stuff that i want to work on is actually really interesting both from an actual content creation perspective like the actual mechanical aspects of creating a video and also with like how to tell a good story and i think that you'll all be interested in, uh, interested in that content as well so you know, I really um, am looking forward to creating that content and I wish I could give more details about it, but I, I want to kind of keep it uh, as much of a surprise as I can until the actual videos drop. So I guess the theme of these videos is that I want to use them to take the channel in a more entertaining and diverse direction. Uh, the thing is, there's a risk there. Um, like I said, the way the YouTube algorithm works is that it will first show my videos to my regular viewers and if they don't click on it, then it'll just stop showing it all together. And the types of videos that I plan on putting out um, are fairly different in style from the types of videos that have come out so far. So if you think about basically everything that's been on my channel, whether it be my my tutorials, my motion glider video, my coin video, it's all very, very deep divey in nature and geared towards teaching people how to get better at the game. The kind of content that I want to make is... Um, it's, it's, it's a wide variety of topics that I want to work on, and I think that they have the potential to reach a broader audience, but there's also a risk that if the people that are normally interested in my content don't click on those videos, that YouTube just buries them and all that effort goes to waste. So if you see me drop a new video, um, I would, and, and you enjoy it, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, not trying to harass you all here, but if you see a video and you enjoy it, uh, you find it entertaining, helpful, informative, whatever, um, whatever the case may be, uh, I would really, really appreciate if you could actually, you know, watch all the way through, uh, click the like button, drop a comment, all that stuff helps the video get pushed out in the algorithm. And I think that I have the potential to take the, I have the potential to take the channel in a, uh, in a pretty interesting and, uh, an entertaining direction. And so any help I can get from you on that would be very much appreciated. Cause here's the thing. Um, you know, I put a ton of effort into all my videos and that's going to continue to be the case for everything that I put out on the channel going forward. Uh, but I work full time. I've got kids. Uh, I have other hobbies. I have things I want to just do in my spare time. Uh, you know, and there's not a lot of spare time I have in the first place. And, you know, I am totally willing to take some of that time and or take a large chunk of that time and create content with it. Um, but if I spend 10, 20 hours on a video, which in some cases, that's how long these videos are going to take, and then they just get completely buried in the algorithm, 
it's kind of hard to justify continuing to like keep on keeping on as it were. Now, the point is like not to be a downer about it, but more just to say that, um, you know, if you do find a video that you enjoy, you know, please, 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 you know, click the like button, drop a comment, all that stuff to help the put the video get spread to more people because that is by far the best way to help out the channel. And I do really enjoy the process of content creation, but it is a lot of work. And so anything that you can do to help me, you know, help those efforts pay off, um, would be very much appreciated. Anyways, that's going to be it for me for today on this one. Um, you know, if anybody asks you about basic training 200cc going forward, you can just point them to this video and hopefully they'll have all the information they need. Um, I hope that you're all excited to watch the rest of the content that's going to be coming out on my channel as much as I am to be creating it in the first place. So I hope you're all looking forward to it and thank you all very much for watching this video. And if you have any questions about anything I've talked about um, or any comments or anything like that that you would like me to address, uh, feel free to drop them in the comment section below and I will do my best to respond. But other than that, thanks for watching and I will catch you all in the next video.